Okay, I think, I think we are able to commence with our final session. Um, it's, it's certainly a pleasure to have you, you here with us and those virtually. Thank you for your patience and, and thank you for continuing on to this, uh, this final session. It, um, it's really important for us from, from Inquahe um, because we believe that the role in the engagement of the, the regional networks of quality assurance providers is kind of critical to our foundational principles, um, whether by setting good practice or through direct engagement in the establishment of quality initiatives. Our goal is to support you and your diverse initiatives to ensure the good practice of quality assurance globally and that it's accumulated, stored and diffused for learning and enhancement purposes. So we deeply value the deliberate engagement with and contribution from each of, each of our regions. So our agenda today's meeting is short but focused. Um, we, were, we were hoping that we would have a presentation from Peter Wells from UNESCO to, uh, to tell us a little bit more about uh, the SDGs and how they are engaging in the quality insurance realm. Unfortunately, Peter was unable to, uh, to attend last moment, and, uh, but we are absolutely fine. We are going to have Susanna tell us a little bit about it, and then we are going to open up the platform to our regional members to, um, to really talk us through how how the SDGs are being implemented and um, engaged in policy and in practice. So we will have a, a very uh, collaborative uh, learning experience this afternoon. Now before I turn it over to Susanna for, for her, uh, her opportunity to tell us about the SGDs, um, I'd also like to invite Susanna to, um, to welcome our newest regional network member, CX. This is the Ibero-American uh, Ibero-American, oh no, I'm going to get it wrong, pardon me. Ibero-American System of Quality Assurance in Higher Education, that's CX. And uh, Martin Straw, I believe, is, is here with us today. Susanna, would you like to say a few words to welcome our newest member? Thank you very much, Mary Kath, and um, welcome all the regional uh, networks and uh, special networks, special interest networks to this uh, regional networks um, meeting. Um, well, um, we will start with welcoming the new, the birth maybe, of the new regional network. Um, and as per our global study, there are around 14 uh, quality assurance networks which are uh, uh, have different backgrounds, like um, I mean, there are regional networks, and then there are special interest networks, um, so and professional. I mean, of course, the professional ones as well. So it's really um, uh, nice to welcome uh, another um, new um, network of quality assurance again in Latin American region, and um, uh, the person who is representing the um, network is former uh, board director for Enquahi, Martin Stra. And we would love, I would be happy to hear from him uh, as he joins us virtually now to present the, uh, briefly the network, the purpose, the relationship with RIASIS, which is another uh, QA network in Latin American region, and uh, so how they will be complementing and supplementing each other. Martin? Is Martin available? We don't, we don't have Martin, okay? Okay, we just welcome. Okay, we welcome them, and uh, whenever he joins, I mean, uh, he can, if, if he joins, he will be welcome to talk. I think that um, when, we, when we move uh, smoothly to the second item of the agenda, which is the sustainable development goals, and it's uh, really important um, for us to unleash the discussion on how regional networks and how quality assurance bodies are actually addressing these sustainable development goals, because they are really region and country specific. Um, we would love to hear um, the experiences the regional networks are engaging in when it comes to sustainable development goal and specifically the four. It's clear that um, uh, number four is linked directly to all other sustainable development goals directly or indirectly, but we are concentrating on 
as SDG4, which is um, uh, related to education, quality assurance, relevance, and then it, it links to the uh, efficiency, affordability, access to education. So how do we, um, as quality assurance bodies, support it? Because um, as any of the soft regulation SDGs are there to guide the countries and the country is committed to them, but it is the role of the local um, QA bodies to also um, steer the process so that they support the countries in, in their agenda of achieving sustainable development goals. As you all know, um, um, rankings already are addressing these issues through a new ranking. Times Higher Education has its own ranking on sustainable development goal, and they're ranking the institutions on the extent to which they are achieving the goal. In Kwahe, as we already mentioned, we have, um, we have allocated some funds uh, for, uh, for the institution, for our members to develop um, ideas, and yesterday we had a chance to share one of the good practices that is um, in, um, uh, happening in, in Spain, in Catalonia, and uh, that was the uh, spe special KPIs and the set of uh, instruments and suite of instruments and mechanisms that is developed to make sure that the institutions are measuring themselves uh, against the contribution they do towards the uh, fulfillment of SDG 4. I think that it's a really good um, uh, topic to start with and see how our regional networks are also engaging in this and how you are promoting this and what is there that you think that we should be doing together to make sure that QA bodies, QA uh, networks and QA uh, community also supports achievement of the SDG goals. Thank you, Marike. Pleased to have you, you join us. We, um, we, we welcomed you and your organization a few moments ago, but we, we would love to hear from you and open the floor to, to, uh, to hear your, um, your uh, hopes and goals for, for joining the Inkwahe family of networks. Can you hear me, Will? Yes. Thank you very much. Let me first. Thank you to all Inguaje members. Thank you, Susana, for the introduction. Thank you to Mary Catherine Lennon for all the support she gave us in all this time to sign this agreement. Thank you also for the secretariat and the staff, all friends there. And let me, let me, and let me also, I want to convey the greetings of CIASA's president. Nestor Pan of CEHIP. I, I will explain now in two minutes what is CIASIS and what is CEHIP. Uh, Dr. Felix Garcia Lausin, also the Executive Secretary, uh, Secretary, Dr. Alberto Diver. And if you allow me, I would like to share just. Can I share a, a presentation? Just to. I'm not. I don't know if Beatriz or Marti is there, if they can allow me to share a, a very short presentation. I cannot do it eh? now. Uh, hello, Erika. I see you there. I'm trying, but I cannot do it eh? I think that you should allow that I can share now. I cannot do it. Well, let me just read what I prepare, if I cannot. What is CIASIS? Yeah, the Ibero-American System of Quality Assurance in Higher Education, this is CIASIS, arises from the will expressed by the Ibero-American heads of states and government in the Declaration of Guatemala in 2018, organized by CEHIP. Now I will explain what is CEHIP. To promote quality assurance in higher education, as well as the reinforcement of cooperation among the national system, national system 
of evaluation and accreditation in higher education. What is a HIP? The Ibero-American General Secretariat is an international support organization for 22 countries that make up the Ibero-American community. The 19 Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries in Latin America and those of the Iberian Peninsula, Spain, Portugal, and Andorra. So this new network, new is, we have two years already, but this new network, it's, um, we are 22 countries yeah, that, in this network. It supports the organization of the Ibero-American Summit of Head of States and Government, implements its mandates, and drives Ibero-American cooperation in the areas of education, social cohesion, and culture. Yeah. Who are the members of CSS so far? So far, we are 14 national agencies for that uh, we represent 18 countries of Ibero-America, from Mexico to agencies from Mexico, CS and COAES from uh, Ecuador, CASES, from Spain, ANECA, from Cuba, HAN, from Peru to agencies, SUNEDU and CINEASE, from Central America, uh, CCA, from Portugal, ATRES, uh, from Argentina, CONEAU, also CNA, Colombia, Uruguay, and uh, Chile. Yeah. 14 countries so far. What have we done so far? So far, we, we have our website. You can check there, ciasses.org. We, so far, we agreed on a declaration of principles of good practices. We have set general guidelines for the accreditation of undergraduate and graduate programs and for the evaluation of virtual education. We also uh, have worked on the Ibero-American Register of accred Accredited Higher Education Programs. We have so far also a CSS training school. We, so, we also have CSS quality labels for programs and institution. And we are working on validation of good practices for agencies. And we, three agencies, has gone through this process so far, the Coniao from Argentina, CNA from Colombia, and also ANECA from Spain. Uh, thank you for these two or three minutes. I try to explain this uh, network from this part of the world, south part of the world, CIASES. And thank you again to Incuaje for all the support. So CIASES can be part of this work of quality assurance in, in higher education. Thank you very much. your network, join our network, and, um, and have the opportunity to learn from you and to, to share with our other regional uh, network agencies. When we, were, when we were planning for this session, we, um, we had the opportunity to liaise with the, with the regional networks, and each of them was, was asked to sort of think a little bit in advance about the ways in which the regional network is promoting the SDGs within their community. We thought there perhaps could be a special focus on how it's supporting access, equity, affordability, and relevance. Um, and so what, what I'd like to do t today and, and right now is invite the various um, networks to share these thoughts and particularly how the QA is supporting the promotion of these policy directives um, in the various locales. Um, so Martin, you have the floor. Um, I don't know if your, your agency as a burgeoning agency has had an opportunity to really engage with the SDG directives, but uh, do you have any thoughts on it? Thank you. I, I couldn't hear you very well, but uh, so far, we. Can you repeat me the question? I, I, I heard only the first part. Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. It was, it was something that was, was shared in an email with the, the various. I, I'm not sure. If, 
the various uh, agencies. That's that's okay, Martin. We'll just we'll perhaps open it up to the floor to other organizations that might have some thoughts on how they're integrating the SDGs. Um, we also recognize that some of the agencies have not really had the the opportunity or the uh, directive, perhaps, to to fully engage in the SDGs. And so we we invite our our regional networks to to please take the opportunity to share with us perhaps what you're doing with the SDGs, but also to share with us things that you think would be valuable for your colleagues to, to hear of. Um, perhaps, um, I, I can't see who is in our room at the moment. Um, is it possible to, to see who's, who's joining us? Um, who do we have here? Do we have, um, do we have Enqua with us? Is Maria here? No, <laughs> we're uh, we're a bit late in our session, so perhaps we've uh, we've lost a few a few individuals. Um, I, I open the floor. Would anyone like to to take the opportunity to to tell us? Can, can you see the Arab network? The Arab network. Would you please take the opportunity? The floor is yours. Are you talking to me? Yes. Yes. So Pl I'm. I'm I'm Dr. Nadia Badrawi, and I'm the president of the Arab Network for Quality Assurance in Higher Education. And uh, this uh, uh, network had been born in 2007, and it was really born uh, with the support of the Inquiry at the time of Richard Lewis and continues with David Woodhouse and many of, uh, of the people in uh, uh, working in uh, the Inquiry. Uh, actually, um, uh, always there was been one of us in the Arab network in the board of Inquahe, and this is uh, something that uh, give us this, the continuity and the collaboration to be continued, which I hope to continue with the new uh, era uh, uh, of Inquahe, and with the support of Susanna always, that she's always been supportive to uh, the Arab network. Uh, when we started in 2007, there was about nine regional network. There were the nine regional network uh, collaborating through a program with the World Bank and UNESCO called GCAC. Uh, to be honest, this was the golden time of the regional network because we were all working together, we were seeing each other together, and we were meeting a lot as a regional network with the Inquahe. So uh, I hope that this collaboration or this, um, uh, I can say, the uh, organization to put all the regional network again together so they can uh, give something to be in uh, as international way, and this will go with the sustainable development goal. Actually, uh, uh, this collaboration is very important, and uh, I I hope that you can uh, continue this collaboration or not continue. No, to um, add on it and make it as a part of the strategic plan of Inquahe to continue this network. As uh, Arab Network for Quality Assurance, we have certain levels of, uh, of working. We're working at the international level. We're working with the ACTIS, uh, TNE Quality Benchmark, and we did a memorandum of understanding this year with them. Uh, we are part of the advisory board of the Shia International Quality Group since it was born. And this is something that very important at the international level. And we work lots with Inquahi, and I hope to continue this collaboration with the presence of the new member and the support of Susanna definitely as a past president. At the regional level, we work together in, in many areas. I, I can say just a little bit of what we have done this year. We have done a, a webinar on COVID-19. We have done a webinar on the governance of quality assurance on e-learning. We participated as Arab network in the African qualification framework that is going to that was doing and working these days. In 2001, 2002, 
we have uh, the, uh, uh, at least the next year future uh, uh, what we're going to do we're going to have a webinar with the world federation of medical education which is a new not a new it's an old one but the WEFMI or the World Federation of Medical Education is an international organization that recognizes quality assurance agency who accredit medical school all over the world. And they have a big, big, big collaboration with the FAMER, with Liaison, with LLCME, with uh, USMLE, with everywhere in the world. So as in the Arab region, I have, we have found in Ankahi that only four countries uh, uh, received this recognition. And we, ha we aim that the rest of the country also receives this recognition. The Arab region are 22 countries. 18 of them are member of our Arab network for quality assurance. And the 18 of them, they are looking to have to be recognized from the World Federation of Medical Education. So the Arab network will work to facilitate this and give them the way or fits uh, uh, how to do this recognition. Also next year, we're going to do in February 22, a big conference in Saudi Arabia on the quality assurance of e-learning. And I think this is something that everybody is looking for now. At the same time, we are going to do also a webinar, a webinar on micro-credential. And because this is it's increasing and uh, it has to be really um, uh, looked for, for their quality assurance, this micro-credential and how to do it. Um, actually, uh, as, as an Arab region, we're supporting each other very well. We see each other very well. And I really hope that we go back to see other regional network and to have a, a, a combination between the regional network. Uh, also, we have uh, uh, good work on the database of the external reviewer that we are going, uh, we are increasing anywhere and we are uh, uh, exchange, there are exchange of uh, external reviewer in all the Arab region. Um, we have done uh, uh, standards, uh, institutional standard in the Arab region, generic one. And I really, after what Susanna was uh, talking about, uh, um, about the standard, I really hope that these, our standards, or the standards of other region, can at least have a, a standardization and at least have a common part of these standards. Uh, I hope for Inquahe to uh, flourish as usually. And, um, you know, I, I'm with Inquahe since 2004, so I'm following every step you are doing, and I'm very proud to be part of this organization. Thank you. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much for that contribution. That was really, really interesting to hear about your activities and how you see it sort of um, engaging in the international realm. Do we have, um, again, I cannot see who we have participating in the room, but I'm going to just perhaps ask if um, Cynthia from uh, Chia is, is with us today. Do we have representation from, from Chia? Perhaps not. Um, African, do we, have, do we have you with us today? Um, excuse me, I can, I can do part of Shia since I am in the advisory board of the Shia International Quality Group. We're working together and we're collaborating as the Shia International Quality Group with many countries. And we're working nowadays with the UNESCO for their new conference. And actually, there is something very important that we are doing now at, from the Shia International Quality Group, that we're doing a new survey for all quality assurance agency all over the world, and I'll be happy to uh, exchange with you this uh, survey so we can come up with uh, a, a general survey on the equity of the quality assurance all over the world. So uh, I'm, I'm taking this uh, opportunity to uh, talk about this Shea International Quality Group new, uh, uh, new projects that we are doing with Jamil Salmi. Thank you. Thank you very much for that contribution. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, I, I, I'm uncertain who we have, but I perhaps might invite um, APQN. Do we have Do we have APQN? Oh, 
Ogan, would you like to say a few words? Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, we are next, maybe Sienka on behalf of... I, can, can I? Do, do you hear me? We do, yes, please go ahead. Okay, so I'm talking on behalf of Sienka, Central and Eastern European Quality Assurance Network. I'm in the executive board of the Sienka. Uh, so we are uh, proudly also contributing to the QA community in our region and collaborating with our uh, international and other regional uh, associations. Uh, let me just briefly mention that Sienka was formed in officially in 2011. And we have around uh, 40 plus members uh, from 25 countries. Uh, uh, out of these members, half of them are also part of ENCOA en as well as INCOA, most of them. So we are very much interconnected uh, and, and uh, really getting the benefit of that collaboration. What we do there is basically we have some projects on a yearly basis as a uh, a member initiative and uh, exchanging the ideas and, and good practices. We do we do apply step exchange scheme, which works very well. Uh, last couple of years, uh, between the agencies, they do exchange their staff for a couple of weeks or uh, whatever they prefer. We match them as per their requirements and, and uh, expectations. Uh, even during the last two years, we have been doing this virtually. It worked very well, so I could proudly say that it's a really uh, well-established uh, uh, staff exchange scheme. We do workshops as well, and what we did last year, uh, we, we have been working more than uh, six months now, and we come up with uh, guidelines for online evaluations throughout the Sienka members uh, to, to be used. It's not compulsory, but it was intended to be a guideline from the practices and the reality of the ground from the region agencies, what they are experiencing. And it, it was also well received. And we have next week General Assembly and we keep getting new members from the European higher education area. Uh, we have from Kazakhstan, now we'll have Azerbaijan and, and, and so forth. Uh, so we are also good in collaboration with, as I said, ENCOA as well as uh, INCOAHE. Some of our board members are also on both sides and we have lots of members are mem uh, member of both uh, or, or all organizations. And this is uh, it from uh, Sienka part. So we'll be looking forward for more uh, global uh, exchange and connections and achievements altogether. Thank you very much. Very interesting. Thanks so much for sharing that with us, Olga. Um, do we have do we have contributions from any of the other participants in in the room uh, in person or or virtually? Would anyone would anyone like to reflect on on how the SDGs are being um, implemented or conceptualized or um, or discussed even in in your various uh, networks in your various regions? Well, um, seeing no, no further contributions, um, perhaps seeing as we are a little bit late to begin with, perhaps we could, we could give our, our participants back a little bit of time and, and invite our, uh, our participants here in the room to, to enjoy a, a quick break before our closing session shortly. Um, I, I would like to very much thank the, the contributions from our members. Um, it was very interesting to, to, to hear what, what is going on, and we're certainly delighted, of course, to, to welcome our new member. Um, this discussion on the SGGs and, and broadly more, more, the more broad activities within your region um, certainly has, has sparked some ideas and, and hopefully some relationships um, that, uh, that might have been, been uh, seeded here today. Uh, certainly we at Enquahe will consider what we've heard and, and think about how we can further support you and your activities. And um, please know that we're here with you and for you and always pleased to, to work with you and, um, and support your activities at the regional uh, network level. So with that, I will we'll close this session. I, I thank you all for your participation. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much.